Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm bringing to you guys my June, July favorites and fails. So I have a ton of favorites that I've been loving over the last two months and some things that I just downright do not like. So if you're interested, please keep on watching as well as like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And if not, please stop watching. It's not worth your time. And I will see you guys later. Bye guys. First two things that are my favorites are from Key Australia and they are their sunglasses. These are the Crispy Gemini Rose Sunnies and then the Desi on the Low Sunnies. Like, uh, the first pair I got was on the low and I bought this because I wanted something that I can wear when I'm like super tired and I want to be inconspicuous and I don't want to draw attention to myself. So this is what they look like. They're black, they're oversized with the gold arms on them. And then it says key on the front. And then this is what they look like on me. I, I love them because it makes me look inconspicuous. And I can really just mind that business. These look bomb if you're wearing all black, you have dark hair, and you're wearing like a dark lip or a red lip, like these are stunning if you're wearing all black. A lot of people don't like these on me, but I really, really dig them a lot. And then the other pair are the Gemini Rose Sunnies. So I really wanted these, the Gemini Roses when they came out, and they came out, uh, April, May-ish, um, with in Crispy's collection. These sold out extremely quickly when Crispy's collection launched in the end of April, May. I couldn't find these anywhere, and then I found this one site. Um, I'll link it down below. Actually, there are two sites I found it on that just recently saw. I really wanted them, I was planning for them, but then you know when you just forget to get something and then it sells out, and I was like, no. Yeah, um, and then recently two websites, um, LA Style Rush and loveculture.com, they restocked and I was like, okay, let me just get my hands on. So I did, and they look like this. I posted a picture on Instagram of me wearing these a couple days ago, and like, I love them. I love the color of them. Um, they're rose gold. I'm obsessed with rose gold. Like, um, my phone case is rose gold. My beats are rose gold. My shirt is like blush tone today, so it's like rose gold. I love rose gold. It's like one of my favorite colors because it just looks good on everybody. I love the mirrored lens because nobody can see my eyes again. And like, I would wear these if I'm like, have my makeup done. Uh, and I'm feeling cute. Yeah. So if anyone is looking for the Gemini Rose Sunnies, they're available at LA Style Rush and LoveCulture.com in both the rose and the black shades. Sunglass spot. They actually have dupe. They actually have dupes to the Gemini Rose Sunnies. Um, if you go into their premier collections. They have them there. They have them in all sorts of different colors. They have them in gold, black, silver, mirrored, and everything, and without mirrored, but they just don't have the rose, and they're cheaper there. I think they're about $13, $14, so if you guys are interested, but you're not willing to spend the price on them, they're available at some glass spot, just without the key label. Next, I have the Mini MUA palette. I've been using this throughout I did a review on it a few videos back, um, I'll link it down below. I'm actually wearing it today, I did a halo eye with it. I used Mars and Luna mixed with Grandstand eyeshadow today, and I'm just obsessed. I'm obsessed because of Luna, Mars, and Aphrodite, like, those are like my three go-to colors. Um, like, I feel like they need to make those colors permanent. Or just keep the palette one edition because I love this palette so much. Um, so I'm still in makeup. Um, 
this is gonna come to a sh this is going to come as a shock to some people because I did do a review on these a couple months ago and I'm talking about the Kylie Cosmetics um, lipsticks so I have Candy K, Dolce K, and Mary Jo K. I said before when I first got them I did not like them at all um but I've been wearing them lately and I've been really 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 enjoying them a lot um today I'm actually wearing Dolce K with NYX espresso lip liner and like I've just been loving this combination. I also did a combination of uh, NYX espresso with Dolce K and Candy K or I'll just wear NYX and Candy K um, but I love these and then Mary Jo K. This I feel like is one of the best reds for dark skin. I do love the lip pencil too. I just can't find it, but I love the lip pencil too, and um, I just really enjoy this, and I know I said I hated them, but I actually really like them. <laughs> I like them. So I've changed my mind. I'll probably pick up some more lip kits in the future and do like a second go at them review type thing in the future. Um, just let me know if you're interested in that. So, the next thing is an eyeshadow, and it is the Stila Magnificent Metals Foil Finish Eyeshadow in Peach. This is amazing. I know these came out about two or three years ago, and people were just, it was kind of a mixed review with people, but I picked a couple of, of these up at uh, Nordstrom Rack. Metallic Peach is my favorite, but on my Instagram, I did a like, orange look i'll post a picture right here and i love it i use this on top of the glitter pigment i made and it was beautiful it was beautiful it it's like this pretty like light peachy color and then when you swatch it it like has like it's like goldish peach with like a little bit of silver in there it's awesome and when you like use the mixing medium it comes with it takes it to a whole nother level you can shear it down you can build it up you can do whatever and it's freaking amazing like i love this and it, it blends out so nicely it just blends out so nicely like it's, it's so pretty like Definitely, if you can get your hands on this particular one, do it, because it's awesome. So next favorite is my beauty blender. Sorry, it's dirty. I used it to do my makeup today. Like, a lot of you guys know that I normally use the Real Techniques uh, sponge, uh, but lately, for some reason, there have kind of been a little bit of inconsistencies with the sponge. By inconsistency, by inconsistency I mean you could buy one sponge you can buy two different sponges like two of the same sponge one will be hard the other one is like squishy soft and i didn't like that so i decided to go back to using beauty blender i have not used a beauty blender in three years three years and i decided to give it a chance and i've been really 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 liking it a lot and i feel like it's worth purchasing this over the real technique sponges don't get me wrong i still love them but if you're gonna like have more consistency um with the texture of the sponge the application the beauty wonder is the way to go so now i'm going to go into skincare and the first thing i have is the mario badescu facial spray that has aloe herbs and rose water this is amazing i have been trying not to wear as much makeup lately because it's summer it's like 90 degrees here it's hot really really hot and my makeup would just melt off this has been keeping me matte for some reason i keep it being matte it smells good i use it before makeup and after makeup and if i'm not wearing anything like after i do my skincare routine this is awesome it's bomb it smells good and i'm just gonna keep buying it because it's just awesome well the next thing i have for skincare is the derma e Hydrating Night Cream. 
Drama E was gracious enough to send this to me to try and uh, thank you so much, Drama E, if you're watching this. This is awesome. Like, I have been using this every single day since I got it, maybe like two or three weeks ago. I still have a lot in here. This is full size and I don't even use that much. Like, look at it. Like, I don't even use that much and I feel like since moisturizing my skin like deeply at night, I don't get like super duper oily. This has been making my skin feel really nice and smooth. After I use it, it does leave like a little bit of a tingle, which I really don't mind it. It feels like it's working to me, but it's great. Um, I definitely want to try more Derma E products in the like, future. They're like an all natural brand, which I really, really like. Um, so yeah, I definitely love this. You can find Derma E products at Target if you're interested, if you want to know where they are. Now I have a perfume for you, and it is Coach Poppy Wildflower. I love Coach perfume. I have Coach Poppy and Coach Poppy Blossom. Um, and they are like two of my favorite scents. The Coach perfumes because uh, they normally run in that like orally fruity kind of uh, path way. But um, yeah, I really love this. It's like, it's like florally, it's like a kind of darker floral. But that's a little bit sensual and sexy, but I love this because it smells really, really good. I get a lot of compliments when I use this, so I really, really enjoy this. get all my perfumes at TJ Maxx, so I don't pay like the actual retail price for them. I just get them in my like, gift sets, so I really, really adore this perfume and it smells really good. And I think I'm just going to clap the rest of the coat much so uh the last of my favorites is this like wallet purse thing it's from proya i bought it on amazon and this is amazing i stopped using a regular wallet because of this you can easily like throw this in your purse and then pull it out and like go wherever without carrying like a handbag and that's what i like about it this is what the inside of it looks like so i have like has in here my cards my license um buying tissue change money and lip balm in here and it's just great you can literally fit a ton of things in here my sister actually convinced me to buy one it was i think like 18 dollars i'll put the link um to this uh bag below um in the description bar and it comes with a strap to carry as well as the wrist strap if you don't like to carry it using the regular like arm strap um but yeah i love this and i definitely want to get more colors with this so time for my fails so my first fail is the tardis heart mascara i have a sample i have no idea where it is right now but um yeah the Tarte Tardis Mascara. I've tried the tar Tardis liner and then now the mascara. I can't stand the mascara or the liner at all. Um, the mascara, it smudges on me. It doesn't dry. It makes me look like a raccoon. It's too moussey. It doesn't dry down and it frustrates me because I tried to get it to work. It just made me look like a raccoon or a panda and I did not like the way it did. Like it would start smudging on me like two minutes after I applied it. That's how bad it was. And I did not like it and I feel like Tarte needs to reformulate it so it's a lot better. The opacity and the blackness of it is great. It's just that the formula is off. And then um Second is another Stila uh, Magnificent Metals eyeshadow, and this is uh, the Rose Quartz one. This is what it looks like. I have tried everything to get this to work. This is chunky, super duper chunky, and I'm just like, if you're gonna create a product, make sure it's consistent across the board. Like I said before, I love the Mag um, the peach one. Um, but the rose one 
definitely needs some work. It's way too chunky. Like, it's literally like chunky. It's literally like flakes. I, I didn't like this at all. And I'll try to work with it some more to get it to work, but I mean, I hated that. And the last of my fails are the ColourPop lipsticks. The alternate lips. I can't stand them. I... I've given ColourPop multiple tries with their ultra matte lips. I just can't stand them. Apply one to my lips and then I'll like move my lips. Like I'll literally just like go and it'll literally start pilling and balling up and like crusting up and like falling onto my shirt. And that's gross. So I was not happy about that at all. And I was just like, I gave them multiple times to redeem themselves by trying new colors, seeing which ones work the best, but you know, but most fail. So I was very disappointed in the color pop lipsticks. Enjoyed this video on my June, July favorite and flops. Please let me know in the comments below what you would like to see on my channel. I really want to make it interactive with you guys and give what you guys would like to see on my channel. Um, I hope you all have a good day wherever you are. And I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.